made you decide to become an after school teacher? I decided to become an after school teacher because I have a passion for working with children and helping them learn and grow. I also believe that after school programs are essential for providing students with a safe and supportive environment to learn and thrive. What are the most important qualities for a successful after school teacher? Patience, creativity, and a genuine love for working with children are the most important qualities for a successful after school teacher. After school teachers must be able to engage with kids of all ages and create an enjoyable learning environment. They must also be patient when dealing with challenging behavior and be able to come up with creative solutions to keep kids engaged. What challenges do you see in working with after school students? There are a few challenges that I see in working with after school students. One challenge is that after school hours are often when students are most tired and least likely to be engaged in learning. It can be a challenge to keep after school students focused and on task. Additionally, after school programs often have a more relaxed atmosphere than during the school day, which can be a challenge for some students who need more structure and routine. Finally, after school programs typically have a shorter time frame than the school day, so there is less time for in-depth instruction and practice. How do you plan and organize your after school program? I typically start by surveying the parents to see what their needs and expectations are for the after school program. From there, I develop a schedule of activities and a budget. I also work with the school to ensure that the program is aligned with the school's curriculum and mission. What activities do you typically include in your after school program? Our after school program typically includes a variety of activities such as arts and crafts, sports, games and other fun activities. How do you deal with discipline issues that may arise during after school hours? There are a few different ways that I deal with discipline issues that may arise during after school hours. First, I always make sure to set clear expectations for behavior at the beginning of the after school program. I let the students know what is expected of them in terms of respect for others, following rules and being responsible for their own actions. If a discipline issue does arise, I will first try to resolve it through discussion and mediation with the student or students involved. If that is not successful, I may need to take more formal disciplinary action, such as sending a student to time out or sending a note home to parents. What are your thoughts on homework and its role in after school programs? There is no one answer to this question as it depends on the specific after school program and the goals that it is hoping to achieve. However, in general, homework can be a useful tool in after school programs as it can help reinforce what was learned during the day and help students to practice and apply new skills. It is important to make sure that homework assignments are developmentally appropriate and that they are not too challenging or time consuming as this can lead to students feeling overwhelmed and discouraged. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to assign homework in an after school program should be based on what will best support the students in meeting the program's goals. How do you assess the needs of your after school students? There are a few different ways that I assess the needs of my after school students. First, I talk to the students and get to know them on a personal level. I ask them about their interests, their goals and what they hope to get out of the after school program. This helps me to understand what each student is looking for and how I can best support them.
I also observe the students during activities and interactions with their peers. This allows me to see how they interact with others and what kinds of things they are interested in. Additionally, I talk to the parents and guardians of the students to get a better sense of their home life and what they are hoping their child will gain from the after-school program. What advice would you give to new after-school teachers? There are a few pieces of advice that I would give to new after-school teachers. First, it is important to be organized and have a plan for each day. After-school programs can be hectic and there is often a lot going on, so it is important to be prepared. Secondly, get to know your students and build relationships with them. After-school programs are often a place where students feel comfortable and can let their guard down, so it is important to create a safe and supportive environment. Lastly, have fun. After-school programs should be enjoyable for both students and teachers. If you are having fun, your students will too. How do you stay current with new trends and developments in after-school education? There are a few different ways that I stay current with new trends and developments in after-school education. I read educational journals and articles, attend conferences and workshops, and talk to other after-school educators. I also follow some key leaders in the field on social media. What are some common misconceptions about after-school programs? There are a few common misconceptions about after-school programs. One is that they are only for kids who need extra help or who are struggling in school. While after-school programs can certainly provide academic support, they also offer enrichment activities and social opportunities for all students. Another misconception is that after-school programs are only for elementary and middle school students. In fact, many high schools offer after-school clubs and activities as well. These can be a great way for students to explore their interests meet new friends, and stay engaged in learning outside of the traditional classroom setting. Finally, some people believe that after-school programs are expensive and only available at private schools. While there are some fee-based programs out there, many public schools offer free or low-cost after-school options as well. So no matter what your budget is, there is likely an after-school program that will be a good fit for your family. What are some tips for successfully managing an after-school program? There are a few key tips for successfully managing an after-school program. Establish clear expectations and rules from the outset. This will help to create a positive and productive learning environment for all students. Be organized and have a plan for each day. This will help to keep the after-school program running smoothly and avoid any disruptions. Be flexible and adaptable to changes. After-school programs can be unpredictable, so it is important to be able to adjust on the fly as needed. Be supportive and encouraging of all students. Every student has different needs and abilities so it is important to create an inclusive environment where everyone feels valued and respected. How do you evaluate the effectiveness of your after-school program? There are a few ways to evaluate the effectiveness of an after-school program. One way is to track attendance and participation rates. Another way is to look at how well students are doing academically and socially. Finally, surveys and interviews with parents, guardians, and students can provide valuable insights into the program's effectiveness. What are some ways you found to overcome challenges in after-school education? There are many ways to overcome challenges in after-school education. One way is to be creative and come up with new and innovative ideas to engage students. Another way is to build strong relationships with students and their families. 
Finally, it is important to be flexible and adaptable to meet the needs of each individual student. What are your future goals for your after school program? I would like to continue to grow the after school program by adding more activities and clubs that students can participate in. I would also like to continue to work with the school district to ensure that the program is meeting the needs of the students.